Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be answering a question based on distance time graph. So let's get started. So here's the question which reads, the graph below shows how three runners A, B and C ran the race. Study the graph and answer the questions that follow. So here the question has provided us with a distance time graph which shows the way that A, B and C, the three runners has finished the race. Now we need to answer these four questions based on this graph. We need to study the graph first and answer all these questions based on that. So let's start answering the question from question number one. Now this question says which runner has won the race? Now among all these three runners A, B and C we need to figure out who was the winner of the race. Now the winner is the one who completes the race in the least time possible. So this is the final point of the race that is 120 meters ahead and this is the time axis which represents the time each body has taken to cover a certain distance. So here we see that A is the first, uh, first one to reach the final point at the end of 3 minutes and for B it was 5 minutes and for C it was 7 minutes. So it is the object A which is the winner. So the runner A won the race because he has completed the race in 3 minutes. So this is the answer to the question. Now the second question is which runner has stopped for a rest? So we need to figure out which runner is the one who has stopped in between for a rest. Now we know that whenever an object is at rest, its distance time graph is exactly parallel to the time axis or the x axis. Now we see here such a thing happened only with the runner C. Here we can see that up to this part C was running and this part of the curve C is a straight line which is parallel to x axis. Now this would mean that C has stopped from the, for this much time in between or C was taking rest for this time. Runner C has stopped for a rest. So this will be the answer. Now how long was the stop? We can also calculate that from the graph. So let's see how it is done. So we see that from this point to this point, the runner C has stopped. So at this point, the time was one minute. And when it started resume, resuming again, the time was five minutes. So the time duration would be 5 minus 1 which is 4 minutes. So the, uh, so the runner C has stopped for 4 minutes. Now how long did A take to complete the race? We have already seen it. We just need to calculate the time at this point when A has reached the finish line. So this is representing the point where the time is 3 minutes. So, A has completed the race in 3 minutes. So, this is the answer to this question. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.